This is a story of hope, a story of redemption, a story that will change your life forever. So mark your calendars and get ready for a cinematic experience that will change your life. The Passion of the Christ 2 Resurrection, coming to theaters this fall. Cinema is unusual in its potential to bring together people who would not otherwise interact. When The Passion of the Christ was released in theaters in 2004, the movie was a huge success, grossing over $623 million worldwide. The film was the most well-made and violent depiction of the crucifixion ever put into cinema. For many, it is the most successful faith-based film of all time. It does what any great piece of cinema should do. It touches us and makes us think. It asks viewers to reconcile one of our culture's most iconic images, a bleeding, suffering man hung to a cross with a crown of thorns atop his head. The picture also piques the interest of the audience in the realms of miracles, celestial creatures, good and evil, and the meanings of loyalty, betrayal, and forgiveness. For all of these reasons and more, regardless of worldview, we await Mel Gibson's next film with interest, dread, love, excitement, pity, and guilt. Choose your emotion. According to st actor Jim Caviezel, who read a recent draft of the script, we're in for Mel Gibson's magnum work. Christianity's Empire Strikes Back appears to be a masterwork that must be seen to be believed. When little is known about Gibson's plans for the sequel, other than what the Bible says, a June 16, 2023 release date for a book called The Gospel According to Mel Gibson, Fact, Faith, and Fantasy in the Passion of the Christ Resurrection, may be evidence of the film's roundabout premiere. Helen Bond, a well-known professor of Christian origins and the New Testament, wrote the book. While Satan only made a few brief appearances in Passion, it appears that most of the film will take place in Hell where we will most certainly be treated to Gibson's version of Endless Agony. This experience will most certainly outperform Clive Barker's Hellraiser 2 Hellbound. Horror fans will undoubtedly rush to the theater for this terrifying entry, which may break some of the cliched faith-based genre shackles and provide us with a true cinematic extravaganza worthy of George Lucas. It is a risky subject to handle while showing Jesus Christ's resurrection, most directors would be immediately criticized for potentially incorrect stylistic choices. But Mel Gibson, more than others, has earned enough respect from the Christian community to have some leeway. Of course, this is a good thing. This incident in the Bible, in addition to being the crux of an entire faith, is also relatively limited in detail. As a result, there's a lot of room for creativity here. Gibson, on the other hand, has a few options. The Bible reveals very little about what transpired, between Jesus' death and resurrection, other than that he dropped into hell before ascending into heaven. Despite the fact that the Bible provides little information, other works of literature have been so entwined with Western Christian culture that people sometimes conflate their occurrences with canonical works. In this regard, Dante's Divine Comedy would be Gibson's most valuable resource. While the word hell does not appear in the New Testament, Dante's Inferno is packed with descriptions of what hell looks like, and listings of which great philosophers have taken up residence there. He could even utilize Milton's Paradise Lost to describe heaven and hell if he so desired. The epic poem contains imagery that has already entered popular culture. Perhaps Gibson is taking so long to work on the picture because he has been studying both of these gigantic tombs. Gibson said in 2016 that he would be collaborating with Braveheart screenwriter Randall Wallace on a film about the resurrection. In an interview with Stephen Colbert, he stated that it would be more than just a straight retelling of the event, but would also address larger ideas. The movie will reportedly cover step by step the events leading up to the resurrection as experienced by the apostles, but will also follow the intrigues that took place in Herod's palace and ends with the events that took place in Jerusalem on Resurrection Sunday, according to Edward Penton of the National Catholic Register. Jim Caviezel will return to play the role of Jesus, Maya Morgenstern returns as Mary, Francesco DeVito as Peter, and Christo Jivkov as John. In a 2020 interview with Breitbart, Jim Caviezel stated that he has gotten a third draft of the screenplay. This proves that the film was indeed in the works, and once again, he believes it will be the best film ever created. It's called The Passion of the Christ Resurrection. It's going to be the biggest film in world history. However, people involved in the film deliberately hold knowledge close to their breasts. Because so much of the film is still in the work, any announcements about it could put a damper on development. Even though the script has gone through multiple revisions, 
Gibson appears committed to making this film. No one can blame him for trying to get it right if it is to be his magnum work, but for the time being, all we have is speculation. Updates on The Passion of the Christ 2 confirm that a surprising number of cast members from the 20-year-old film are returning to finish the epic story of the Bible. According to reports, Maya Morgenstern will return to reprise her pivotal role as Mary, Jesus' mother. Francesco DeVito will reprise his role as Peter, one of Jesus' most well-known apostles. Finally, Christo Jivkov is said to be reprising his role as John, the gospel on which The Passion of the Christ is based. It's unclear whether Monica Bellucci or Rosalinda Centellano will reprise their roles as Magdalene and Satan, respectively. A report in January 2023 said that the film would begin shooting in mid-2023 around spring, with Jim Caviezel reprising his role as Jesus. Christo Jivkov was said to repeat his role as John, the disciple, before passing away in March 2023 from cancer. Christo Jivkov died of cancer at the age of 48. The actor was also a producer and co-founder of Red Carpet Films, an independent production business founded in 2009. Today we lost our beloved friend and dear colleague, Christo Jivkov, co-founder of Red Carpet, the company said in a Facebook message. This untimely loss has left us distraught. You will never be forgotten by us. Unfortunately, the most recent updates to Passion of the Christ 2 do not include a release date. The Passion of the Christ Resurrection is set to begin production in spring 2023, although there is no set release date. Still, it wouldn't be surprising if Gibson set his sights on Easter 2024, the 20th anniversary of the first film's premiere. Furthermore, IMDb lists the film's release date as 2024, but this is subject to change. Hopefully additional information about The Passion of the Christ 2 will be released soon. On the other hand, the movie updates don't include a trailer. However, filming on the sequel is just getting started, and the picture appears to be aiming for a 2024 release date. As a result, some behind-the-scenes and first-look shots may be released sooner rather than later. Regardless, moviegoers should not expect a trailer or teaser for Passion of the Christ 2 before filming concludes and may have to wait until 2024 for an official trailer. So please let us know what you think about this sequel and kindly let us know if there are any other movie topics you would like for us to address in future videos. Well, that's it. For now, make sure that you like our video. Please share your views and opinions in the comment section with us. Subscribe to the channel to get updated regularly with the latest news and reviews on upcoming movies from us. And do not forget to hit the bell icon to never miss an update. Thanks for watching the video. We'll see you at the next one. Until then, peace.